Hi, this is Orlando from NativeStudio.com. Today, I want to show you how to create this cool slider for you with header. I'm using Adobe Flash CS 5.5. This is the latest version of the Adobe. Well, it's not my computer, it's my friends. The cool part is I want to show you how to create this so you can use any version of the Adobe. And also, we want to break this in two parts or three because I can upload more than 15 minutes on YouTube. So I'm wondering how many parts I'm going to break this tutorial. So let me show you guys the final result. So control and test the movie. As you see, here we got the slider, the image, the thumbnail, and also we have the hover mouse effect and the active. As you see, as soon as I click the thumbnail, it becomes active. So let me just close and go file, new, and just with a thousand by 450, 30 frames per second, the background doesn't matter. So let me just click OK. Go library. We have no image yet. So let me just import to the library. Go file, import, import to library. I already have those uh, image for this uh, project. So let me just select all of them. The large ones, uh, 1000 by 400 and the small the thumbnails are 25 by 25. So let me just open. So once we have this on the library, so let me just drag the first image to the stage. So if we go properties, we want to set the X position to zero and the Y position to zero. And also we want to convert this to move clip. So just click F8 to convert move clip. That's the shortcut, so make sure the registration points are the uh, left top side and just hit one and go back to library and just drag the second image and also properties set zero, zero, F8 convert move clip and then just two. Once we convert this to move clip, we go back to the X position and just set thousand pixels out of the stage and go back to library when you just drag the last image just go back to the properties zero zero and I'm sorry this I already have this image so let me just delete go back to library uh, the last one where is it? oh here it is just drag it properties X0, Y0, F8 to convert move clip and just give three. So let me just uh, zoom out and see what's going on here. Oh, I forgot to set this the X position to 2000. Out of stage, so there we have. So now we just uh, select all of them, the same thing, F8 to convert move clip. Make sure it's at the left top side. I want to call this content. Let me just go 80. We want to just work with this bar down here. So let me just rename this content. One other one more layer. Call this uh, bar. One more. Yep. I want to call this button. So let me just like this and this one as well. So let me just select the bar layer. If we pick the rectangle tool or the R as the shortcut, make sure it's non stroke The color that's much. So let me just drag a rectangle. Go back to the selection tool. And when you just go properties and so this thousand. And the height one just give 50. And we want to just align to the bottom center. And also we want to change the color to linear gradient. So then we just uh, transform the gradient. So the F is the shortcut or simple just hold down for a second and you will see the gradient transform tool. Let me just Transform this. There we go. Okay, so let me just go back to the selection tool and also we want to change the color to 
F2, 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 this one, E1, E1, E1. And then we can just select this, unlock the button. The same thing, we just go and pick the rectangle tool. And when you just any color, just drag a rectangle. Well, the shortcut for the selection tool is the small b. So you don't have to be going back to the toolbar menu. So let me just uh, go with properties. I'm just go with 60 and the high. 50 the same right of the bar so let me just align to the bottom center and also we want to change this to radial gradient also set this as black the positive one just goes to zero and this one just go 10 percent so once we have this we're going to just select it f8 to convert mobile clip make sure it's in the center Call one. Then we we'll just uh, drag a like of those vertical lines to separate the buttons. So let me just uh, pick the line tool or the shortcut. Uh, the end, yeah. And just holding down shift and drag. Let me just select this. Go properties and just give the same height of the bar, so it's fifty pixels and then just align to the bottom and also when just zooming because we need all because we want to give a like a uh, shadow effect so let me just uh, control C to copy control shift small b to paste in place and hold it down shift and the right arrow once and just go back to the left and change this uh, and change the color go back to 100% and see how it looks mm -hmm. there we go and select it F8 to convert move clip and call this vertical. Let me just align to against the uh, the button. So just same thing. Just Control C to copy. Control Shift V to paste, and move to the right. When I'm gonna do the same thing with this, just control C to copy, control shift B to paste, and then let me just move to the right, back to the left. And also we're gonna copy the line. So one more to the left. Same thing, this is the last separator. Let me just go back to 100% and see, let me just delete this and this one just delete and let me just go control and test and see how it looks yep and also we need to make a, like a horizontal line in here so the same thing just pick the line tool the color the same dark just holding down shift and drag the line so let me just select it go properties and just give a sorry 985 so 985 and also we want to just uh, align to the center select it and go align to the center just drag a little bit down so 
so once we have this just give it like a drop shadow so convert move clip I call this a horizontal so I'll just go filter drop shadow just uh, give 10 capacity the an angle when just give 90 and the distance when just give uh, one pixel so let me see so let me just move a little bit up and also we can just uh, set the alpha to 50 let me just test control and test movie mm -hmm. nice let me just close and what else let me just add two more layers i'm gonna call this uh, label and this one called mask and I'm just uh, drag underneath the bar then we just um, drag a mask in here just go pick the rectangle tool make sure it's uh, 100% non-stroke and just drag a rectangle when just um, give this 985 height we want to just give um, 435 and also we want to align to the center so once we have this why do i give um 985 because we need to give like 15 pixels from the left 15 from the top and 15 from the right see so let me just go at the mask later right click and mask it as you see here we got the frame 15 pixels from the left top and the right side yep so let me just control and test the movie once again yep nice so here concludes the first part so just be ready for the next part because i need to pause the video i already have more than 20 minutes i guess so let me just pause it and we'll be back with the second so don't miss it see you there